Hello! Today, I will be showing you guys how to make your very own Minecraft server. I am using a cracked version of Minecraft. It's a uh, version, this is for version 1.6.6. So, uh, if you guys have any other versions, I have, there's a download, I'll put a download link in the description for, um, uh, I, for uh, 6.5. Uh, 6 if you guys, uh, have that, it's haven't bugged up yet. So first off, for this, you're going to need something called a Minecraft server jar. Now I have this saved in my, just the download link to my, just to a little thing. So the link will be in the description. What you want to do is simply download it here. It will be Minecraft server jar on Mediafire. So go ahead and download that. And once you've done that, you will get this. You will, you will get this Minecraft server jar. Now I'm going to copy and paste this so you guys can uh, figure out what I'm doing. Just uh, follow on. So, easiest thing to do is save this to your desktop. So, once it's saved to your desktop, uh, create a new folder. Right on your desktop, too, just so it can be easy. <coughs> Excuse and name it whatever you want. I'm gonna just go ahead and type in something random. So you want to drag and drop the Minecraft server jar into that. So once you've done that, you want to go into this, the folder you downloaded into, and double click this. It will then start preparing a bunch of stuff and once this is finished uh, preparing the spawn area, simply type in the stop. When it's done, it will just automatically stop. Sometimes it keeps going on. Okay. So once you've done that, this will close out. You just want to close that out, and you'll have all this. You have whitelist server properties. I change for server properties. It'll I don't know. I don't remember what it originally was, but you want to open this with a text editing thing, so a Notepad or whatever. But now, uh, so onto that. So once you've done that, you will get a folder full of all this stuff. Because what you want to do is go to Server Properties. Double click that. And open it up in Notepad, Text Document, doesn't matter. So once you're in here, you want to, you can name your level. Like the world. Level name, world, whatever. Change it to whatever you want. Allow Nether. That's if, if you want the Nether. You can change the view distance if you want monsters or not, and online mode. Make online mode false. Now for spawn animals, you can spawn an animal. Max players, how many players? It's server IP. We will wait for that, because that was Hamachi, and that's a whole different download. And I, that's also included in this, too. PvG, PvP, if you want that, and level seed. If you've played single player, you know what level seed is. It's that, um... Thing that allows you to spawn kind of certain kind of world. And for server port, make sure it's 25565. It shouldn't, it should always be that. But you know, stuff happens. So once you've done that, save. Save this. Now I'm going to delete this because I have a Minecraft server or folder. So I'm already up. So once you've done that, I'm also going to want to download Hamachi. Just copy. Just, just click the link in the description. Now download this. It's a you can either run it right away and install it or save it and run it. So uh, Hamachi, I've just put it put it in here. What you want to do is run Hamachi if I can find it. Uh, here it is. So just double click that and run it and follow the install wizard instructions to install it. So once Hamachi is installed in that, you want to run it. It's called Log Me In Hamachi, by the way. So you can go to Start or wherever. It should be like right on there. Or go to All all Programs and look for it. I have it saved to the desktop, so if it's saved there, same thing. So double click this. Now this will be offline when you do it. So you want to click Power On and it will log you in. You won't have this, you'll probably have create a new network or whatever, but 
So you want to just create a new network. You can either go to network up here, or it'll be down here. So just create a new network. Type in anything you want. Once again, I'm typing in anything. So the network ID or name, whatever you want. Minecraft server, super server, whatever the hell you want. For password, random, and then doesn't matter. You don't really need it. And hit create. So then you have your server. I'm just going to delete that because you can see Jason's Minecraft server. That's already there. So once you have this, minimize Machi. Do not exit out of it. Go back into your the folder you saved your Minecraft DR2 and go to server properties once again. Once in here, go to the server IP and type in this. This is your IP and it will always be next to the power on button. So once you do that, it will, uh, we want to type it in on the server IP. No spaces. So once you're done, save and exit and you should be good to go. Now, you won't have MC Extreme or Minecraft server info. That's just stuff I've added to remind me. Server info is just my stuff. So then you want to run the Minecraft jar again. Now, if, as soon as this is done for help, type help or a question mark. You're good. Minimize. Don't. If you want your server to work, leave this up at all times. And that's what I've been told. Now, you want to run Minecraft. So, type in the, your username, which will be your name on multiplayer. Enter game. Now go to multiplayer and type in your IP. You can either just copy this IP from this, or if you saved it to a server, a uh, properties file. The prop, if you whatever, just open up the properties file if you want that, and just. Copy it in there and hit connect. Now you will log in. It will spawn you pretty freaking random. Now there's the ball sack load of creepers here. So I'm just gonna go here. Now I, I you I have mods, and to you before you download Minecraft, I mean the uh, server, be like before you run it. You want to make sure you have no mods in that uh, uh, jar file. Because you will get a black screen. And in the, bla the black screen, it's, you can't play, obviously. It's black screen. So you want to update that. You want to you wanna hit the force update button right here. And hit enter game and it'll update it and get rid of the mods. And then you can just reinstall them. Now, troubleshooting problems. Your com just common ones that I've encountered and other people have encountered before I figured this out. Bad login. Computer. It's either your computer, rarely, or you typed in the wrong IP. Now, if you get user, not premium, it's because of one of the important things that I should have mentioned earlier. In server, I mean, I already mentioned this, but sorry. On online mode, it will if it's because it's because you have it in true. You want it false. That's user, not premium. So that is how you do that. That's how you make your Minecraft server, and friends can play it. They have to have Hamachi, I'm pretty sure. And, uh, all that. So let me just log in one more time. Now to become an operator, OP, like an admin, I guess you could call it. Go to the server, uh, Minecraft server running thing. And type in right here, op, and Whoever the player's name make you want you to make an op. I'll just type in my name, Bobbio, and it'll say console opping their name. And it will also say um, console opping Bobbio, you are now op. And with this, you can uh, you can type in a question mark or help, and you can get the commands you have. You can kick, ban, pardon, all, etc., etc., give. Okay. Now this is uh, too many items inventory edit. You can only use this if you have op. So if you don't, you can't. And it's a lot different than most than a, the single player version of this, which is the same thing. It throws stuff out, like out of you, and then you have to go collect it. And there's no uh, trash. You can just delete it. Just throw that over there. And that is how you make a Minecraft 
server and be coming up. And if you guys have any problems with this, tell me because uh, I might be able to help. Some problems are harder than others. Honestly, sometimes your server can't host and it, your computer is just, just not able to host. Now, for mods, you want to go to Minecraft.net and just, you know, mod it, release mods on the forums. And um, on there, just you can look for mods that say MCP. I mean, um, eh, SMP, Single Survival uh, Multiplayer. Download those, and you can get certain mods. So that's how you do this. Have fun playing your server. I will hopefully update some more Minecraft videos in the future with uh, better ones, like uh, buildings, uh, other crap, how to like stop grief with the uh, griefers can't speak, and uh, other stuff. Thanks for watching, and uh, subscribe.